All right, here we go. This is probably the fourth slab I've ever done in my life. It's not perfect. Some small, um, the cor that corner looks pretty good. Some small um, areas I need to fill in. We, it's, what is it, December 15. Uh, they ordered hot mud uh, because it's going to be cold tonight, so it's set up really quick. And I should have got on this slab a little earlier um, to um, finish off the top. But anyway, it is about 17 foot by 17 foot, and this is the roof of a utility building that we are building here. We're using the build brace system. Um, that's what we did. We just put some four foot uh, two by fours on the outside here to hold up this. This is a eight inch slab. That's what the engineer wanted. We gave it nine inches. We gave it nine inches on that end, sloped it down to eight inches there, and we used um, this massive board here, this 20 foot piece of lumber there to screed the top. Um, we've edged it. Everything looks good. We are going to let this set up and we'll cover it with a tarp later. Um, uh, we'll cover it with a tarp sometime tomorrow to keep the moisture in. And then we will um, come in the summertime and fill all this in probably with just a, a skim coat of something to fill in all these little little pockets you know like we have a little we have a little pocket right there and there's just just little pockets now if we got on this a little earlier we would have been able to work some of these blemishes out but it's not too bad um nice and nice and level you know not sinking so it's a nice nice level slab and it will slope the water off real good. I don't know what we're going to do yet for um, waterproofing. Let me get down here, get you like a good, good view there. I don't know what we're going to do for for waterproofing. Let me get down here on the phone like that. Yeah, nice slab. But uh, well, it'll probably be some paint on application. So yeah, and then we have a little line there we left with the with the float, but it's it's very very minute. There are very very small blemishes. You see here we didn't fill in because we I didn't get on it fast enough. It set up really fast. Uh, they put uh, an accelerant in there plus hot water plus fiber, and we have this double reinforced. There's two layers of uh, basalt rebar mesh in here not steel basalt because we expect the elements to get on this and we don't want the rebar to rust out and so we're using basalt the form almost popped off here that was a little scary started popping out but it's not that it's not that pronounced so i think we'll be all right we we have enough room here to put cover up any blemishes with um, insulation. I mean, you can barely, barely notice it. Anyway, slab's done. Let's go downstairs and look at the shoring. Give you a little look-see there. Uh, yeah, fourth slab. Probably the fourth slab of my life. There's a tiny, very small low spot down there on that line i think the rainwater will drain off good anyway but when we level it this summer we'll put some leveler on top and waterproof it it'll it'll be just fine here's a shoring we have on the inside um these are six by sixes we overdid it and braced it up i'd rather safe than sorry and we'll reuse all this timber for um, other construction projects we have. But yeah, feeling pretty good about it. And there, uh, there you have it. Build block, concrete roof, 
basalt rebar um, and a um, and the showing system. We'll give you guys a video once we get the um, we'll give you another video once we get the uh, roof finished. We're going to put posts. We're going to put some posts around the roof so we can use it as a uh, patio. But we'll, we'll put some railing and fencing around the roof and some stairs going up out the side so we can hang out there at uh, summertime and whatnot. We'll give you another update as things progress.